So here's how I learned how to meet my own needs after divorce. <laughs> uh, rarely do I interrupt this early in uh, a reaction video, but she just said the magic words that every divorced modern woman says after divorce. Gotta put my needs first, right? Forget about the husband, forget about the family, forget about our kids, the dog. Nope. Me. Magic word is M-E. Me. So, here we go. So here's how I learned how to meet my own needs after divorce. Let that sink in. My own needs. <sighs> she was the only one that mattered here. So I'm that girl that was in relationships from the time she was 14 years old until at 31, I looked at my husband and I was like, peace out, dude. I I'm gonna go do me now. There goes the magic me word again. The time she was 14 years old until at 31, I looked at my husband and I was like, peace out, dude. I'm gonna go do me now. I'm gonna go do me now. Um, yeah, so don't be fooled, guys. If you've ever been in a relationship with a woman like this and she's like, I'm gonna go do me now. If you look back throughout the history of your time together, she was always doing me, right? It was always about her. Right? Your relationship always revolved around her. Okay? So this isn't some sudden awakening where she was you know, this giving, nurturing, caring partner throughout your you know, 10, 15 years together. And then suddenly, once you broke up, I'm going to do me now. No. That relationship, don't fool yourself, guys. That relationship was always about her. Okay? She was always doing me throughout your relationship. You just didn't see it, but she was, right? Like the time she was running off with her female friends on her Euro trip or doing her little hot girl summer without you and just leaving you behind while she went and did her own thing, right? So uh, when you get divorced, it's just that she can be more vocal about it now, right? Even though her actions throughout your relationship pretty much you know, paralleled uh, her attitude now where she's like doing me. But let's go on, shall we? But it didn't take me long after leaving my marriage to just find the next guy. The thing was... Of course. I mean, so I, you know, and I, I don't like to stop this often in the, again, in these reaction videos, but she's saying so much here so fast that it's easy to miss it, right? To the untrained eye, but to the red pill eye, like we have, uh, we catch this stuff. So, uh, as she said, it did not take her long to leave her marriage to find the next guy. Of course not, right? She's not a bad-looking chick. She's a ginger. She's a redhead. Right? Those are hard to come by, FYI. I mean, I know. right? I'm constantly looking for them redheads. Uh, but, yeah, she's, she's not going to have a problem finding the next guy, as she's saying. I, I, I appreciate her honesty here. But you know who is going to have a problem finding the next partner? Is her divorced husband, right? We cannot pick up the pieces as quickly as these chicks, right? Because they just have a lot more firepower, right? They have something called a vagina. So that uh, goes a long way <laughs> out in society. It's not easy. I mean, it's not hard for them at all to pick up the pieces after the marriage is over and just find the next dude whereas for you the divorced ex-husband you know it could t take you years right it could take you years to do what she can do within less than 24 hours like that and most times I mean just I mean just to do you even more dirty um, what a lot of these girls do not only do they already have the firepower to replace you within hours uh, sometimes minutes they they make sure that, you know, before your relationship is over, they are already covering the, their loose ends, right? They're already looking for the next guy. This is why they won't leave you, right? They're looking for the next dude, right? The next ship to jump to um, before they leave you, right? But then once they find that dude, you're done, okay? Once they find that dude and they, they realize like, okay, yeah, this is the guy. This is the guy I'm going to lily pad to. Then they file for divorce or they break up with you, right? So uh, a lot of them just, yeah, they just do you dirty like that, man. They already have enough power as it is, but it's just, they want more.
to just find the next guy. The thing was, the next guy was a lot younger and I knew that it wasn't going to last forever. He looked at me the same way. It was a casual thing. <laughs> it was a casual thing. Again, see, there's so much she's saying here that is easy to miss to the untrained eye. But if you listen to what she's saying, I mean, she's being very honest. She just said the next dude was a much younger guy. She knew it wasn't going to last because instinctually these older women know that when they date a younger guy, especially a much younger guy, that it's just about the sex. Right? The dude is just not going to stick around. It gives them an ego boost. It makes them feel as if they still got it, I'm st you know, and they can compete with the 18-year-old women, which is just totally delusional. But uh, at least she's aware of that. She knew it wasn't going to last. But, I mean, this is a woman who herself said she was in relationships since 14. She met her husband way back when, when she was a teenager, and virginal right still virginal and married that dude wasn't with any other guys assuming she didn't cheat right you never know with these chicks um these type of chicks but she she was a virgin this entire time and uh the moment she divorces her husband she goes from being this woman who was only with one dude her entire life virgin right to all of a sudden just being another streetwalker by just being another 304, just being another carousel rider, annual pass, carousel pass holder. You're just another chick now, right? That that has had a number of dudes yak up inside of you. It's gross, and now your value is just as low as all the other damaged DG females over 30 that we cover on this channel. Um, but that, ending that casual thing, that's when it got really hard. Casual sure. guy and I are still great friends. Uh, that... <laughs> Don't miss this. We're still great friends. What does that mean, fellas? That means that they're still banging, right? He's he there is basically a friends with benefits. This guy gets to bang this chick whenever he wants while he goes out and bangs other women, right? She is just a she went from being uh, a virginal, you know, housewife who married the guy that she lost her virginity to, only with one dude, to suddenly being a side chick for some scumbag Chad that's banging other women. But separating that meant me going out on my own emotionally for the first time since I was 14 years old. So when that casual thing told you ended and I was like, okay, Jade, we're doing this. All right. And an FYI, just a very quick psychological lesson here. Um, anyone who talks to themselves in the third person uh, is showing strong qualities of being a narcissist. So uh, uh, yeah, my ex from 2006 used to do this. She was a narc. Um, and obviously like plenty of people I see out there, plenty of these modern women, she just did it right here. She's like, okay, Jade, we're doing this. I, yeah, I mean, that's something that I don't do personally. I don't go, Hey Matt, what are we doing today? I don't talk to myself in third person because I don't have these mental issues that these damaged females have. Um, but that's a narcissistic trait FYI. So it, it just never surprises me that these women divorce their husbands and then go around playing victim and you know, sleeping around and, you know, banging these chads and then somehow it's still the man's fault. We're doing this. We're going to learn how to just fulfill our own need. Okay, here she is uh, yet again talking about how she needs to fulfill her own needs. Uh, and never do you hear these women talking about how they fulfilled their husband's needs. I was, I always helped him with his business. I did the taxes. I did the accounting. I, you know, I did the laundry. I... I made sure that his car was always clean. I made sure when he came home, there was a hot plate waiting for him at night. Uh, you know, I made sure he always had fresh clothes to wear to work. No, they're never talking about that. You know why? Because many times they never did any of that stuff. Everything was about them. As she is saying here, I, I need to learn how to fulfill my own needs. Honey, you've been doing that your entire relationship. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Fill our own needs. I went through at least a six to eight month span where I was very angry at men. For the mistakes that she herself made. Uh, why was she angry at men? She was doing she was doing me the entire relationship. So, uh, I, yeah, but that therein lays the, the narcissism. It's never enough, right? It is never enough. Whatever you do, it's never enough. So don't feed the, the narcs. Very angry. Because in my world, in my life, they've basically been a constant letdown. Not all of them, but a lot of them. 
a constant letdown. Who is choosing these guys, right? Again, with the lack of accountability, who are the gatekeepers to sex, guys? It's the women, right? It's the women that need to go on at least three dates before you can get a little kiss on the cheek. It's the women who are holding out like, no, 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 don't, no, don't try to pull my pants down, put my, sh no, don't try to go up my shirt. It's them, right? So they can easily say no to these scumbags that they're banging and pick the nice guys. You tell me that this ginger who's, you know, fairly attractive, right? Um, <laughs> with boobs, from what I can see here, that she doesn't have uh, just a, an army of nice dudes that are willing to be the Prince Charming and White Knight that she's looking for? Of course she does. She doesn't want them, right? She wants the scumbag chats. And during that very, very angry phase that I had, I still, in my head, was thinking, I, I still need to find a partner and that, you know, the search hadn't ended. The problem is when you centralize your focus on finding a relationship, you settle way too easily. You settle for trash because you're still in that headspace where it's like... It's Maybe she should take advice from her 14-year-old self who uh, did things the right way. It's better to have someone than nobody at all. So one day it hit me. <laughs> I didn't know who I was. I had been a stay- Yeah, you still don't. At home mom for years, and everything had just been a like, focus on the kids and everything. Oh, poor you, yeah, exactly what a mother's supposed to do. Focus on the kids. That's what parents do. You gotta love how these modern women just want credit for things, just, everyone's just, you know, normal people, are, you're just supposed to do, right? Just supposed to do. Supposed to put gas in your car when it's on E, when it's on empty, right? Or if you have an electrical vehicle, when it's out of charge, you're supposed to plug it and charge it. These are just things you're supposed to do. You don't go on social media and cry about it. Like, oh my God, look at me. I'm so strong. I, I put gas in my car today because I was all empty. And one day I was like, I don't even know what I like. I don't know what I like to do. Uh, you like yourself, obviously. When it hit me that if I just took the energy and the focus that I had put on men and focused it on learning new skills, cultivating friendships <laughs> with good boundaries with men and traveling or doing what, I, what it is that I want to do, it, it was revolutionary. And one of the things that I've noticed is that as I focus on just doing me... Of course, man. You've been doing you. I mean, she keeps talking about herself. Me, me, me. What have I told you, fellas, man? That is a modern woman's favorite note is me, me, me. Me, myself, and I. Da, 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 da. Was that deal of soul? And being the best version of me, I attract some of the best men. I have multiple deep friendships with men. <laughs> friendships? Who I trust and respect. Uh, this chick is totally delusional. None of those dudes are your friends, honey. They're all just waiting to bang you. <laughs> you do not have male friends. These are just guys that have not had sex with you yet. Men who have shown me that they're not all like the ones from my past. And is she and is she giving it up for these guys? No. So she's talking about the army of these guys that she's friend zoned that I was just talking about, right? She's bragging about the fact that she has plenty of these guys with we have trust, we have mutual respect. Hey, perfect dude, right? You would think this is the perfect guy. Is she attracted to them? Is she getting wet for them? No, is her boobies getting hard for these guys? Nope. Uh uh. Right? No. Because she wants the guy who mistreats her, who's a dirtbag, who lies to her. That is the type of guy who gets these type of DGs off, right? That's the type of guy that gets these damaged women off. Don't kid yourself. This chick has been DG, you know, even before her marriage. And my secret to navigating all of this now is that all of the men that I meet are friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're going to love this chick. All of them. Because I truly believe that my perfect person will be a friend first. Now, this is a, a very classic example of uh, cognitive dissonance, right? Where she's speaking about something that it's just right in front of her, but she can't see it because there's like a mental block. And that my perfect person will come to me with honesty and say, this is how I feel about you <laughs> and ask. 
if I will be his partner. <laughs> she is describing the typical beta Brad that these women just have no like endless streams of right in their life like endless streams of these guys coming into their life sitting in their friend zone they have so many of these guys that are just ignored on the daily right these guys are just ignored kicked in the balls used as an emotional tampon while she cry you know goes back to the 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 chat that's banging her and using her for sex um <laughs> you gotta appreciate the fact that she's like she just can't see it so even though I'm such a romantic at heart and I really want love, my primary focus is not relationships. Okay. <laughs> oh, and she just said it right there. Um, I believe her on that. Her primary focus is not relationships. It's continuing to uh, let the Chad go up inside of her, you know, and uh, yak up, you know, in every hole on her body. Uh, while she tells herself, like, oh, I'm just, you know, I just want the nice guy. Why can't the nice guy come along? It's really sad to watch. <laughs> As always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Share your comments below. Always love to see you guys in my comments, and I always love to read your comments. So drop those comments below. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well. Also, hit the notification bell so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube, and especially whenever I live stream. A lot of you guys complain like, oh, I missed the live stream. Why didn't you tell me? It's like, dude, you gotta hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified like that anytime I live stream, right? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And for you guys who want to support all of my incredible work I am sharing with you guys, my incredible coaching lessons I'm teaching you guys, all this red pill, gold pill, platinum pill, diamond pill content that I'm sharing with you guys, the best way to support me, best way to show you love me is to jump in my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students out there are cold approaching and closing every single week. And I kid you not, we are making things happen every single week. No matter what is going on in the world, no matter you know, what new presidential administration is taking over, no matter what new virus is taking over, doesn't matter. We are out there making things happen and living our lives to the absolute fullest and just meeting the best looking women on the planet. I want you to join us. I want you to become one of us. I want you to learn this stuff. And right now, the first month is only one buck, right? Still only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. And this is the absolute best way to support my work. Support my work. So all you need to do to get signed up is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.